Rogers Gardens. I'm Allison Whiteman, floral designer. This morning I'm going to show you how to create a piece that transitions from spring to summer. This morning I'm only using a few tools, just my regular clippers and standard knife. This is our container we're designing in and it is a grapevine basket with a vase inside. You can get this here at Rogers Gardens. Our recipe this morning includes lots of warm colors but also a little pastel as well. We have our Dusty Miller, adds a little gray color, piece of kale, green hanging amaranthus, Italian ranunculus, regular ranunculus, parrot tulips, chocolate lace, kiwi hydrangea, a little bit of green hellebore, gobi roses, Sahara roses, and white anemones. I chose this color palette because it's sort of a blend between the pastels of spring and some of the warmer colors of summer. To start off the piece, we're going to use the Dusty Miller. We're going to make some cuts. We're going to try to leave some pieces really long so it flares out. Other pieces are a little bit shorter. That'll kind of provide some fill in the middle. Next, we're going to use our large piece of kale. We're going to make a nice clean cut because it does have a larger stem. Then I'm going to use my knife and shave off a little bit of the stem here to make a cleaner slide going into the container. We're going to put him right over here and he's going to kind of mimic the foliage of the Dusty Miller, only he provides a little more soft green color. Next I'm going to use my Kiwi Hydrangea. This guy's cut a little bit short. He's going to go more towards the back. Designing this piece to sort of go on like an entry table, so it's going to be mostly three-sided, pretty large with a little interest in the back. A lot of times there's mirrors in the back, it'll kind of mimic that image going forward. Next I'm going to put in a little bit of the hellebore. It has this nice curve, I've used this before. My clean cuts here, take off any foliage. I'm going to put a little bit over here, kind of tucking it up under the larger pieces of Dusty Miller. One more piece. It's going to go back over here on the opposite side. I'm going to kind of leave that hanging out. Next, I'm going to use my large Italian ranunculus. I'm going to put one piece kind of hanging out a little farther, and then the other one I'm going to tuck down in. Our arrangement is going to have a soft V shape with a little bit of indentation in the middle. Next, I'm going to use some of the Gobi roses. What I like about these roses is that they sort of look like a garden rose. They provide a little bit of like ruffle, but they're not as expensive, so you can really get a lot out of them. They open up really nice. I'm gonna slide one down here. So as you can see, I did not grid my vase. So that's why I added the Dusty Miller first. It provides a nice web so that as you're sticking your smaller, more dainty pieces in, use the leaves and the shape of the Dusty Miller to act as your grip. Next, I'm going to use my Sahara Roses. I like these because they're a little blushy, um, but they're not super pink. And again, I'm going to leave some of the guard petals on them as well. And they're going to help really blend the arrangement from sort of the darker Italian ranunculus, a little bit of that pink color in there, help with the peachy roses and then blend us to the darker kale. I'm going to stick him over here a little bit farther out. He's going to be a little bit taller here in the back to help us start bringing up that V shape. Next we're going to add the chocolate lace. These I left really long. They're going to help bring our arrangement up. And use the larger pieces in the back to help stabilize some of the other flowers. And don't be afraid to use all of the pieces of your flower. These had a lot of different branches, so I was able to pull them off. And they're going to add a real nice wispy texture to the piece. 
So next, I'm going to start adding in all of our parrot tulips. I did use a full bunch of 10. What's nice about these, I'm going to sort of put them along the back. It's going to act as like a filler. And what's nice about the tulips is as the arrangement ages, the tulips grow and they'll add some different interest as you enjoy your arrangement. So we're going to sort of pepper these in along the back. Try to take off some of the leaves of the tulips. You can use your knife to sort of shave off some of that leaf so you can get a cleaner cut going into the water. As you're adding your tulips, make them all different heights. Again, they're going to grow, so they'll kind of do their thing as the arrangement ages. Put a few towards the front, kind of falling over. That'll make your arrangement appear larger. Going to leave him nice and long. And then again, we're going to do a couple on the other side in the back. Next, I'm going to add the white anemone with the black center. I prefer these. Uh, I think they're really cool. I like the little bit of the contrast, a little bit of blue in the center. Um, what I also like about these is that they have a little bit of blush on the outside, so it's going to blend really nice with the parrot tulips and the Sahara roses. So we're going to stick these guys down in again because they're going to act as a blend. So be very careful with the anemones. They have very soft stems. Uh, a lot of times it's helpful to even water tube them and then put them in your arrangement. We're going to stick one more over here and one more back in the middle. What's nice about this is we kind of have things all throughout the arrangement kind of nestled in there. So that way as people are taking a deeper look at the arrangement, it kind of gets a little more interesting as they go down in. And especially if you're going to have a mirror in the back, again if this is on like a long table in the hallway, helps it'll mirror it back to you which is really pretty. Okay, so now we're going to add some regular ranunculus which is one of my favorites. I really like it because it has so many different pieces and they kind of all do their own thing. Some going this way, some going that way and they have a really high petal count. Really pretty when they open up. Give them time to really open. So these guys we're going to sort of tuck down in here. They're going to add a little more fun to the front of the arrangement. I left these guys tall because again, they're going to go in the back and help bring it up. And again, we're really going to try to leave kind of a natural dip in the middle here. Okay. And we're going to add our nice large pieces of magnolia. Sometimes you need some heavier loppers to really get a good cut on those. I'm going to slide him in the back. And again, you can use some of the pieces of the branch to help stabilize some of your more delicate flowers, like by resting the ranunculus or the tulips against the back of the magnolia. It'll kind of help as a brace and help your flowers stand taller a little longer. Here's our large piece of magnolia. That's going to go in here as well. What I like to do too is just kind of give your arrangement a little bit of a fluff. A lot of times as you're going, things can get a little tight. That way it helps your magnolia kind of settle in there nicely. Lastly, to balance out this large piece of magnolia, we're going to do some of the green hanging amaranthus. tuck that. Sometimes you kind of have to make yourself a little bit of space. And again, we'll do one last sort of fluff on the arrangement. And really let the green hanging amaranthus go all over. Let it kind of trail forward a little bit. Let it come back towards the back of the arrangement. There we go. We'll give it kind of one last little fluff. Get that nice arranged, unarranged look that we're going for. And there we are. What I really enjoy about this arrangement is that it's going to keep blooming and keep changing. The magnolias are going to open, the ranunculus are going to get really large for you, these Italian ones will as well. 
The anemones will open. It's nice long lasting. The tulips will grow. It's going to be a nice arrangement to enjoy. Thank you.